Welcome everybody to today's episode and today the question is Bitcoin is rising again. Today I will analyze Bitcoin, Cartesi, Tezos, American Airlines, Uber and Ethereum. And let's start with Bitcoin. How's everybody doing today? It's very cold here this week. So my winter jacket is out of the closet again. But now I will start analyzing Bitcoin. Uh, as you can see, this is the previous um, scenarios from last week. But first we will start at the weekly chart and let me remove all the levels. So another green week. Very nice price action. We, yeah, if it's close above uh, the 20,900, uh, then we have a weekly gain from the last drop off point here. That's very positive. And let's see how high we can go. Okay. This is the next stop, 24,500 area. And from the weekly, we will go to the daily and I will make the chart visible. So last week I predicted these three scenarios. Um, this gain and then an entry at the pullback. Uh, the gain is even higher as expected. We have daily gain from here. So we gain this area, we gain this area. Yeah, very nice. So what can we expect the coming days for Bitcoin? Uh, this scenario remains. So <clears throat> I prefer to hold high, to, to hold the, the low here, uh, let's say around uh, 20,900. And then continue the upwards momentum. Um, if we lose this high, then yeah, um, this can be support, this can be support, and here can be support. The, the higher the better, of course. Um, you can play it in different ways. So if we go as low as 17,229, that's what we not prefer. Because then, then yeah, the whole momentum is kind of gone. So I will remove this scenario. And let me adjust this one. This one is still playable. Yeah. And I will add one. Yes, okay. So if the gain continues to go higher, then we can enter higher and try to go back to the 31,000 area. And that sounds very nice again. You can play this also in in momentum. So let's say <coughs> if you don't want to place the order now immediately, then you wait until the price stops somewhere. Let's say this is the price stop here, and then you enter low time frame on the small pullback with the gain for the upwards momentum. That's the safest play, but if you don't have much time, then you can you place your orders before and with the stop loss, let's say around 1%. Okay, so that's Bitcoin for the coming days. Looking very positive. Bitcoin is rising again. Let's see if we can continue next week with this upwards momentum. 
from Bitcoin, I will go to Cartesi, CTSI versus US dollar. Okay, I will start high time frame. Let me draw in some levels. From the weekly, we go to the daily. So we have a um, daily gain yesterday was the first no maybe before too he had some daily gains so we have low and high high low now printing the high high okay The weekly chart still at resistance here around 17 cent. Okay, back to the daily and I will draw in some scenarios. So either a pullback and an entry around the uh, 12 cent point eight. Or the more defensive entry around 12.2 and try to break the 17 cent area if we manage to break the 70 cent area then the next resistance will be around 24 25 cent so let me see how much it is from the aggressive entry at least 32 percent and perhaps more around 93 94 or even more and from the defensive entry that will be 40 percent first target second target 103 percent very nice Yeah. <clears throat> From Cartesi we go to Tezos and I will start at the weekly chart as usual. Also green week. Okay.
from the weekly we go to the daily okay we gain this drop off area and now we're going up Yeah, 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 okay. Around 92 cents seems like still playable entry. So I'll draw in some scenarios, either the aggressive entry around 98 cents and we will try to break the current area or the more, the more defensive entry around 92.5 cents and I'll try to break this one, the current area between one dollar fifteen and one dollar twenty yeah I will aim for the wick and the more defensive entry for the best RR yeah Or either we continue now the upwards momentum and then we can enter around one dollar one that's the third play so let's say around here yeah one dollar two that that's after the gain of the whole area okay from tesos we will go to american airlines american airlines okay people start traveling again i started the monthly chart Okay. From the monthly we go to the weekly ok 
Okay, what do we see? We had a low and high and higher low, higher high. There's no gain from the last drop off point yet. Okay, let's go to the daily. the four hour okay I'll draw in some scenarios for the coming days slash weeks yeah we'll put it on the daily on the weekly sorry So either we reject the last drop off point and go back all the way to the start of the impulse. Yeah, and you can pick between $12.60 and $13.20 area and uh, try to break the current point, the $18 area. Or if we manage to to have a gain, then you can enter between fourteen dollar eighty and fifteen dollar more aggressive for a try to break uh, the twenty four dollar area. Yeah, 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 very nice. So. around 38% and after the gain 64 65% okay very nice and from american airlines we will go to uber yeah yeah yeah, yeah. summer is coming in a few months so people will start traveling again and they will need the use of uber too so it might be interesting let's see what we can find here Start at the weekly chart.
Okay. <clears throat> There's a weekly gain from this drop-off point here, but I prefer to see a gain of the 36, 37 dollar area here. This. Okay, I'll switch to the daily. CME gap to be filled between uh, twenty one dollars seventy one twenty two eleven. Also, no, one between twenty six fifty eight and twenty seven thirteen. Okay, I'll switch to the weekly and I'll draw in some scenarios. So, either a rejection here. And we will probably go back yeah, the twenty six fifty eight and try to break it again. The thirty four dollar area where we gain the area and then you can enter more aggressive on the pullback around twenty nine dollar fifty one. And uh, try to push higher. And third scenario is we're not managing to go higher, but we will pick up some liquidity here and try to break the $29 area. Okay, um, from Uber, we will go to Ethereum. This last week's chart, I will make it invisible and I will start at the weekly. Also, a nice green week, although it looked like a little bit weaker than Bitcoin. But doing good. Okay. Yeah, we try to print an uh, a new high. High high. No weekly gain. I'll switch to the daily. And I will make last week's chart visible. <clears throat> no daily gain from the last drop off point uh, around 1645. You see, the candle didn't open and close above it. So 
that's the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin is already further than Bit than Ethereum. That's why I mentioned that Bitcoin looking stronger than Ethereum at this moment. The this scenario is still valid after the gain re-entry around fifteen nineteen. I will remove this one. This was the example of an entry lower time frame without risk. This one's still valid. Okay. So either we gain the last drop off area and then you can enter aggressive and if not then very defensive like this around 1296 and there's a third scenario the gain and the more defensive entry around 1350 and try to break the seven, 1770 area. Yeah, okay. So that is it for this week. I want to thank you guys for watching this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you like this content. If you have any request for a special coin or stock or whatever, leave it down in the comments below and I might chart it next week for you guys. Uh, thank you and see you next week. Cheers. Bye bye.